Uh, I'm going to show you how dual monitors work on a PC. Uh, I've actually done this video before, but it wasn't very clear, so I thought I'd redo it. I'll start by showing you how it's set up. So here I have my two monitors. If you come around here, both of these monitors are hooked up to one computer. I've got one mouse and one keyboard to control it all. Uh, both cables come down here, and if you see these two cables here, this white one is linked to one monitor, and this black one here is linked to the other monitor. And they're both DVI cables. Uh, they're hooked to the same graphics card, I only have one, and so your graphics card has to support dual monitors by having uh, two connections. And these connections could be a combination of things. It could either be DVI, it could be VGA, HDMI also works if your graphics card supports it. And I'm not positive, but I think S-Video may also work, but you'd only get low resolutions. Uh, as you can see, the two monitors do not need to be the same size. I've got a 17-inch monitor on the left and a 24-inch monitor on the right. Uh, the left one has a lower resolution of 1280 by 1024 and the right one is HD at 1920 by 1200. I'll go through some of the software for you. I've got Windows 7, so a shortcut for opening up some dual screen options is the Windows key and P and that opens this little dialog here. You can turn off one of the monitors or the other monitor. You can do the commonmost thing which is extending the desktop and the other one is duplicate which just means that both monitors will be displaying the same thing. Extending the desktop is what I've done here which basically means it treats it as a big screen. If I move the mouse to the left it will go onto the left screen. I'll bring up a window. Let's see how if I click computer that's on that comes up on the right here and I can drag that over to the left to set it up you can right click the background uh, press screen resolution and this will open up your options I've selected the big monitor here as my primary screen I think the only significance that has is that well that I found is that games open up on the primary screen but other than that it doesn't really matter I've got my start menu or taskbar on the left monitor but I could easily unlock that and drag it over to the other monitor or on this side but I like it at the bottom left and I've got all my desktop icons on the right monitor as I said games open up on the right monitor I usually have all my monitors and messengers on the left monitor such as these Steam Friends List, X5 and Trello all open up on the, can all open up on the left I usually view websites on the left monitor as most websites aren't really optimized for wide screens. If I show you a random video on YouTube, that looks fine on my left monitor, but if I drag it over to the right side, there's just big white space here, so there's not much point in looking at websites on a wide screen, it's fine on a normal screen, which is why I use the right screen for videos and games. This is Beowulf in HD, and I double click that, it'll open up in full screen. I can then watch this on my right monitor whilst browsing the web on the left monitor. So if I can just open up StumbleUpon and keep stumbling whilst watching, if I'm not watching something particularly interesting. Usually when I'm watching a film I'll obviously sit back and enjoy it, but if you're just watching an old sitcom episode or some sort of chat show then you could you might be on stumble upon or browsing websites as you watch a lot of games don't have proper dual screen support but i'm going to show you one here team fortress 2 does have decent dual screen support so i can play this game and then seamlessly alt tab and browse the web whilst whilst i'm dead or whilst something's loading so obviously this is lo or is loading now and i can just go onto the left monitor go on some more stumble upon if I press start playing, I can find a server, uh, I'll click a random one, and then while that's loading, I can go back on StumbleUpon, so this is really helpful for if you want to multitask and not just sit here watching the loading screen. One of the best things about dual screens is, even though I've primarily got it for browsing websites and watching TV at the same time, it can actually help with work quite a lot. So if I open up something in Word, I'll find some a piece of work that I was doing the other week. So on the right here I've got a nice widescreen to view two pages at once. And on the left screen I can put my work plan. 
So this was the plan that I was following to find out what I wanted to write and when I wanted to write it. And then on the right, I've got the actual dissertation that I did for my final year at university. And so it was quite helpful being able to see three pages at once with my plan on the left and work on the right. Similarly, if I had done some sort of experiments, I could open up Excel here and then had lots of numbers here and I'd be able to type on the left screen without having to keep switching between windows and fiddling around with that, which can be quite annoying if you have to keep switching. You can also open up to Excel, so a lot of the time on Excel you'll be switching between these tabs at the bottom, whereas if you've got two monitors you don't need to. Or even if you have one large monitor, Windows 7 allows you to, uh, yeah, if you like bring the window to the right of the screen, it will automatically cascade it on the right side, and so you can view two pages at once quite easily if you have a nice wide screen without your monitors. It helps with productivity. Uh, overall, I'd highly recommend dual monitors. It's really easy. It makes doing things a lot faster. A relief to not have to dick around alt-tabbing all the time or watching loading screens and playing games. So it's a nice feature to have if you have the money for a second monitor. Or in my case, I, I had this small monitor on the left and I decided that I wanted a nice 24-inch monitor. And instead of just throwing this away or giving it away, I decided to keep it and be greedy. And I'm glad I did.